So a lot of us are stuck inside during this social distancing time. I feel like our first instinct is gonna be to like turn to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and, and just binge watch everything that's ever been made. So once you're done watching every show and movie that's ever been made, here are my top 10 things to do while quarantined at home. Number one is going to be to clean your house, clean your apartment. We have so much time at home right now, so this is the perfect time to do the deep, deep cleaning. I'm talking like moving the furniture, vacuuming and swiffering like under the couch. Getting in the tile, with the toothbrush in the bathroom? Well, I don't know. I don't know if we need to go that far. <laughs> I feel like this is a pretty obvious number one thing you can do, but I think it also kind of keeps you active in your home to kind of keep moving because my first instinct is to go to that couch and sit down and be like, oh, well, I'm home. I guess I'll just sit here, watch some TV. No, I'm gonna be deep cleaning my blinds. Number two is update your resume. This is the perfect time, you guys. I feel like updating your resume is one of those things that's just like, ugh, it's just so tedious. You've got to put in all the keywords. It's one of those things where you're like, ugh, I really don't want to be doing this right now. There's like a million other things I want to do. Well, this is the perfect time while you're quarantined or while you're practicing social distancing, it's the perfect time to work on your resume. It's also probably a perfect time to be job hunting at the same time while you're sprucing up your resume. When I was job hunting, I had a few resumes for different industries. Like if I was applying for a job in a service industry, my resume would really be tailored with keywords for the service industry. If I'm applying for a job in a different type of industry, then I'm gonna put keywords and kind of tailor my resume more towards that industry. So this is a perfect perfect time to make multiple resumes. Number three is organize your closet and your drawers and donate whatever doesn't fit or whatever you don't love 100% anymore. Going through my closet and my drawers is like a huge task. I have to pull literally everything out of my closet, put it all on the bed, and then I just try everything on. I'm like, mm, okay, I can't even get my arm through that. That's going to Goodwill. That doesn't fit anymore. Or I haven't worn this shirt in like a few years. I don't think I'm gonna wear it next week. Donate. With all this time on our hands, I think this is definitely a great time to go through your entire wardrobe. I'm talking sock drawer, underwear drawer, closet, fit, shoes, everything. Number four is to plan your dream vacation. I don't know about you guys, but for me, planning a vacation takes so long. First, you've gotta pick the destination that you want to go to. Then you gotta start looking on trip advisors, you know, hotel reviews. You've gotta see which hotel you wanna stay at, what are the top things to do in that location? Where are you gonna eat? What's, what are you gonna do for entertainment? How are you gonna get around? Like planning a vacation really takes a lot of time. So, well, we've got lots of it. I think it's just the most perfect time to plan the most absolutely perfect dream vacation. Number five is learn something new. So you could learn different recipes or learn to cook just in general. You can learn calligraphy. I feel like a lot of people are learning different languages. I saw like something on Facebook like Duolingual was overwhelmed with people signing up for their app, which Duolingual is a really good app if you wanna learn a different language. You could really perfect a language, a skill, or something, and you could really dedicate like a few hours each day to just like really learning that. So for me, I normally order out almost every single night for dinner. I know, it's so bad, but I live in New York and it's just, it's so easy to get Seamless or Grubhub or Uber Eats just delivered to me. So during this time that I'm trying to practice my social distancing, I've been really trying to cook something new, like every other day, every other day. We gotta start small. But this is a great time to learn something new. Number six is call friends and family that you haven't talked to in a really long time. Or better yet, FaceTime them. Shoot them a FaceTime. Wait, is that Stella from sixth grade? Yup, hi, let's talk. What have you been up to? Where do you live? How's it going? I've been messaging people from high school, people from college. I think it's so much fun to reconnect with old acquaintances, old friends, and just kind of catch up and see like, what are you been up to? <laughs> it's gonna make us feel like we're not just like stuck in our apartments or alone in our homes. Like we're still connected to everybody else and everybody is going through this together. And I know that we see like the Facebook feeds and the Instagram feeds and we see pictures and we read the descriptions, 
but I don't think it's the same as actually physically calling that person or even just messaging them and reaching out to them. I, I just, I'm like, I'm loving this idea right now. Number seven is work on a photo album. I have 16,628 photos on my phone. How many videos do I have? I have 593 videos as well. This is the perfect time to go through your phone, make albums, pick your favorites, Just go through the photos on your phone. There's even services online where you can send your photos to them, they print them, and then they mail them to you. So this is the perfect time to work on that scrapbook, that photo album. I mean, I, I, I really, I'm, I need to go through the 16,628 photos. Number eight is to start a YouTube channel or a blog or a website, TikTok or an Instagram or whatever you want, but this is the perfect time to start something new. One of the things that people tell me when they find out I'm a YouTuber is, I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. Oh, cool, like how did you get started? What made you start your channel? I get a lot of questions, but the bottom line is a lot of people have always wanted to start a YouTube channel or start a blog or write a book or start a website. When I started my channel, I know I had to do a ton of research. I had to watch a bunch of videos on how to start a YouTube channel. I had to figure out camera equipment, lighting, sound, thumbnails, titles, search engine optimization words. There's just a ton that goes into starting something, you know, brand new or from scratch. If you've always wanted to start something, this is the perfect, perfect time. If you guys need help, DM me, message me on Instagram. I have, I've got a lot of time on my hands. I will answer you. I will help you whatever you need. Like comment down here, put your Instagram name, ask me for help, I'm here for you. Number nine is do a face mask, do a deep hair condition, give yourself a mani-pedi, like really, really treat yourself, take care of yourself. I love doing face masks, but sometimes we're just, I'm so busy, I'm like, oh, I got a trip, oh, I've gotta do this, I've gotta walk my dog. Like when I get out of the shower, I'm like throwing my hair in a bun and I'm like going out the door. Now that I've got some time on my hands, when I get out of the shower, I'm like, you know what? Let's pause. Let's put a sheet mask on. Let's set a timer for 10 minutes and let's relax. I feel like this is such a perfect time to start like a 10 day skincare routine or every other day deep condition your hair. I know I've seen those memes going around that like when we're done with self quarantine that our nails are gonna be grown out, our roots are gonna be showing, but you know what? We're gonna have amazing, flawless skin. All right, and number 10 is work on your five year plan or set some goals for yourself. You know, the immediate goals, kind of a little bit in the future goals, and then like a five-year goal plan. I feel like for me personally, if I don't have a goal or a plan or, or have something at the end of the tunnel, then you know, what am I working for? Having a five-year plan or that goal really pushes me every day to say, okay, what am, I go what am I doing today to accomplish that goal in the future? But you know, really sitting down and asking yourself what your five-year plan is, what your year plan is, or like what your 10-year plan is, it really takes a lot of thought and a lot of thinking. And you know, sometimes it might be like, sometimes you might just come up blank, like, well, I don't really know. But at least if you start thinking about it and you have that thought in your mind, like what is my five-year plan? Eventually, you're gonna start being like, wait, yeah, that could be my five-year plan. I think that's my five-year plan. And it's gonna be in your mind, so you're gonna be thinking about it and visualizing it. Then you're gonna come up with your plan or your goal, and then you're gonna start coming up with steps in between to do those things to reach that goal. With all this time on our hands, you guys, this is the perfect time to really sit down, really think about what you want in the future, what you want tomorrow, what you want next week, and eventually like five years down the road and 10 years down the road and beyond. So those are the 10 things that I'm doing while I am home, self-quarantined and practicing my social distancing. And guys, I'm really not joking. Shoot me some DMs, like let's have a conversation. Let's chat. If you guys are gonna start a YouTube channel, let me know. If you guys have a really good idea that you guys are doing while you guys are at home, please let us know so that we have, so that we can have more ideas down below. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.